Good morning, Eagles. Please stand for our morning prayer. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. Today, we pray for all of our grandparents and friends who are on campus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We hear in today's gospel reading, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, saying, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the miracles you have performed on us that have been overlooked. Help us to focus on what we can do today to help build up the kingdom of God and not simply despair about the past. Walk with us through our journey in these new uncertain times because you know the path meant for each of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, SM. We have an awesome show lined up for you guys today. On today's show, we will have freshman advice, favorite teachers, and a football walk-on. Strap on your seatbelt, Eagles, because this show is going to be a wild ride. America's newest Roman Catholic high school is open this week in Orange County. What's Cracker Jack in SM? I'm Casey Weatherby. And I'm Loria Blake. Let's get something started off with some announcements. A huge congratulations to the girls golf team for beating Jay Sarah. The team was led by freshman Veronica Mann and the team beat the course record by shooting a score of 176. Keep the great work, girls. The first meeting of the year for NAHS will be today at 140 in room B13. This is a mandatory meeting for old and new members and this, will be, this meeting will be short. Wow, honestly, that's an awesome information that I think everyone should consider listening to. You know, L'Oreal, I think the Eagles will also be interested in hearing what happened today in history. I agree, Casey. Let's give them what they want. Today, in 1542, San Diego, California was discovered by Portuguese navigator Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo. And finally, today in 1990, the Game Boy handheld video game device was released in Europe. L'Oreal, I think I needed to hear that. That is some cool information. I totally agree, Casey. On the topic of getting some cool information, what was something that you wish someone told you before you started your freshman year? I honestly wish that someone would have told me to be prepared for how long it takes to get up G3. It's a whole hike, and since every single time I go up there, I'm practically out of breath when I reach the top. Seems like you might be a little bit out of shape, L'Oreal. <laughs> you know, Casey, I don't think we're here to discuss my athletic ability. Did you hear that we have actually a freshman advice segment waiting to be rolled? Oh, roll it. What's up, SM? I'm Hannah Casanover, and today we're going to be asking upperclassmen some tips for freshmen. I'm here with John Burton. John, do you have any tips for freshmen? Yeah, don't run up the wrong side of the stairs. Look, you're just holding everyone else up. We're all trying to get to the same place, and when you go up the wrong side of the stairs, you're just inconveniencing everybody else. And also, don't procrastinate on your work. Uh, it's just it's a bad habit to get into, and it's going to come back to bite you junior, senior year. Facts. I'm here with Charlie. Charlie, what are your tips for freshmen? I would say if you're going to get water, go to S building, and then don't be a slow walker because people are trying to get places. I'm here with Cooper. What are your advice for freshmen? Uh, don't stand in the middle of the hallway. I'm here with Miss Reader. What's your advice for freshmen? My advice for freshmen would to be to get involved on campus and to reach out to your supports, like the wellness counselors or your school counselor. Thank you. Um, you guys need to be better in the student section, and you need to respect upperclassmen. You guys will be there soon, so whatever. To be honest, that was some advice I wish I heard, or at least during freshman year. I totally agree that segment will help some new freshmen out there for sure. Do you have any favorite teachers during your freshman year, L'Oreal? I think all of my teachers are my favorite, but shout out to Mr. Kelly. He was definitely one of my top five. Me too. Coach Kelly's always there for me. Since we're talking about favorite teachers, why don't we roll that one segment? What one segment? The favorite teacher one. Oh yeah, roll it. Hi everyone, 
My name is Addie and I'm going to be going around campus asking people who their favorite teacher is at SM. Enjoy! I'm here with Hannah. Hannah, who's your favorite teacher? Um, I'm going to have to say Miss Creed. Good choice. Hi, I'm here with Hogan. Hogan, who's your favorite teacher at SM? Well, all the teachers are good, but I think my favorite because he's the most interactive is Mr. Soboda. Nice. Hi, I'm here with Jake and Brody. Who are you guys' favorite teachers at SM? Probably Mr. Belosi. I'm going to have to say Mr. Matt. Nice. Hi, I'm here with Jillian. Jillian, who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher's got to be Miss Allen. Hi, I'm here with Bridie and Marina. Who are your guys' favorite teachers at SM? My favorite teacher is Mr. Delinsky. Mr. Torres. <laughs> nice choices. That's all for today. Sending it back to the host in the studio. You know, it's always great to hear everyone's favorite teachers. I agree. You want to know what else is great to hear? What, Casey? The quote of the day. Growing up doesn't mean growing old. Wow, that's super touching. Yeah, that one truly hit the heart. Well, Eagles, it looks like... Oreo, what are you doing? Ending the show. How could you possibly forget? We have some of the football players here for a football walk-on. Oh, shoot. Sorry, boys. Take it away. What's up, SM? I'm Cassie Beaumont here with Donovan Camestro and Jackson Potter. So how do you guys feel coming after this bye week? Uh, we feel good. Uh, we're rested. We got some good work days in last week, got some good rest days. And uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to taking it to OU on Friday. Speaking of OU, how do you guys feel going into your first Trinity League game? Um, you know, coming into league, there's always like a different level of intensity. We got five straight weeks of really good football teams. So we got to walk in at practice and we're excited to get the ball rolling. That's great. Thank you guys for coming in. Back to Casey and L'Oreal. Definitely go and support the Eagles against Olu. I mean, don't you guys want to be there when we take a big dub? Yeah, I know I'll be there. Come on, guys. Who doesn't want to be there with the famous Casey Weatherby? Oh, L'Oreal, don't hype me up like that. But seriously, guys, I am him. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't go. Well, guys, my watch is beeping and it's telling me it's time to wrap it up before L'Oreal says something goofy. Wow, okay, Casey, I see how it is. With that, let's see what's happening on tomorrow's show. We have tomorrow's show, we will have news. An NFL update. And dear do. Well, Eagles, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I am him, I mean, Casey Weatherby. And I'm L'Oreal Blake. See you guys next time.